Welcome everybody to my short raw recap. Um, I haven't done one of these in months. I was saying a review, but I want to want to make it short. I don't want to take a lot of people's time because I know there's other people doing raw reviews, recaps, and everything. Sorry if, if my phone does shake. I really do apologize. Do I do not have my own setup like I normally do. So let's get straight into Monday Night Raw. Alright, so this Raw was decent, average, better than weeks back Raws, to say the least. That's not saying much. But what I got out of Raw tonight, Strowman is a star in the making, ladies and gentlemen. He is. Um, he was an absolute fucking beast tonight, and, uh, I really enjoyed seeing him do his stuff, and he destroyed Team Raw's captains in the tag team division, the tag team champions the New Day. What does that make the New Day look like going into Survivor Series? Not good. But there's a suspense of making Strowman look good. So I'm fine with that. I, I really am. I really am. And if you're not, well, fuck you. Who cares? But really enjoyed seeing Strowman looking damn strong. And they're booking him correctly. They're just, Raw's booking some things correctly. And then, uh, and then a lot of the others just says, eh. Like Strowman doing good. Owens. They could book him better. Jericho's doing the best damn work I've ever seen him do. I, I, I'll just go ahead and say that. Um, Rollins, eh. Reigns, eh. It's just some of the things are like mm, really could be better. So that's uh, that's why I think about the five superstars. You know how they've been booked and how Raw's been doing this and that. Let's be honest, SmackDown Live has killed Raw for most of this brand split, really. But, um, that's just a, that's only the things I could come up with, like, with tonight, like, how I felt about Raw. And then the major thing, at the end, you know, you had Daniel Bryant, Stephanie, uh, Shane, and Foley. You had them in the ring talking back and forth. I was like, okay, okay. Let's get to the final point. Yeah, I mean, you know there's going to be a final point and something's going to happen. So Stephanie's like, oh, here's your opponent, Shane, because Shane is on Team SmackDown, of course. You know, you got Strowman, Jericho, Owens, Rollins, and Reigns come out. And then DB, Daniel Bryant. It was like, did you think we didn't come with some backup? So here comes Styles, Wyatt, Orton. And uh, you got Shane in the ring and then Dean Ambrose. I almost forgot Dean Ambrose. That, that, that shows how much I care about Dean Ambrose. Even though he's done some good work here lately. <laughs> um, but you got that. And basically... It was a big ass brawl between them. I mean, they did my, you know, you know, talking on the mic with Owens, Styles, Jericho, back and forth. Then you had Wyatt, and uh, uh, Strowman didn't talk, but you had Wyatt, and then Strowman came up, and then Orton came in front of Bray Wyatt. That's going to be interesting to see. I don't know how that's going to pan out, but should be fun. So then you got Rollins on the mic, and then talking about all the all the you know the pit competitors on his team and everything, and like you got the champ here, you got the big guy here, you know Braun Strowman, you got the big doll Roman Reigns, and you know how we can work together. Then Ambrose gets on the mic, and then Ambrose is like, well, you know what, and then just starts attacking Jericho, I believe, all out bra. Ends up with Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins doing a shield ass powerbomb and slinging styles onto all of SmackDown Live. Raw stands tall, which 
who would have thought Raw wouldn't stand tall because it's on Monday Night Raw. Let's be honest here. Now if SmackDown would have came up on top, I, would, I probably would have been surprised, but I'm not. But this, I'll just say this. This has been the best segment of 2016 to end Monday Night Raw by far. Maybe in 2015 too. I think this segment was damn good, really good, um, and great way to end Raw. But Raw was like a C. C minus C. C at best. But if you enjoyed this Raw recap, please sm smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment below what you thought of Raw. And I will be back tomorrow for TKW Live Show number 9 and NXT TakeOver Toronto Predictions. See you guys then.